already caused the four biggest school districts in northwest Arkansas to move to virtual learning tomorrow due to the dangerous road conditions expected. Bentonville, Fayetteville, Rogers, and Springdale students will all be doing online classes. Meanwhile, the Northwest Arkansas Community College has canceled all in-person classes. Online classes will go on as scheduled. And at Fort Smith, UFIS is canceling all classes after 5 p.m. tomorrow. Now, here is a full list of the latest details of schools changing plans due to this winter weather threat. You can find this on our website at 5newsonline.com. It includes many other schools going online like Farmington, Gentry, Siloam Springs, Decatur, even Haas Hall Academy. We are just hours away from that storm moving into the area. Road crews and state agencies already getting ready for it, even getting National Guard troops in place to poss possible impacted areas. 5 News reporter Michael Wilson's live in Fayetteville. Micah, with a chance of this ice, they're asking you just to stay home. Hey, Darren, everyone is saying the same thing. They're saying that's the best thing you can do ahead of this storm. However, if you must get out, the state says they are prepared to help out stranded drivers and the majority of crews will be working 12 hour days around the clock, ready to help whenever and wherever needed. Stay home, stay safe, stay warm, stay off the roadways. Let us get out there and do the job that uh, you have hired us to do. Dave Parker with RDOT says they are as ready as they can be. The main threat they are worried about with this storm is the ice. And the main impact, of course, will be power outages, but also the roads. In anticipation of the storms, Governor Asa Hutchinson stationing more than 80 National Guard crews statewide ahead of the storm. If and when the storms hit, our soldiers are already in place to assist local authorities. Up to 30 will be in our area. They will assist in helping stranded drivers on the roads, conduct traffic control, possibly cut down and remove tree limbs. Emergency managers say they really want you to stay home and be prepared to be without power. Everybody just needs to make plans. Um, consider the fact that uh, if the electricity goes off, what they're going to do. We want individuals to be prepared. Um, to be at home for 48 to 72 hours, just depending on the severity of the event. But if you must hit the roads, be sure to have a full tank of gas. Have an emergency kit in the car ready to go. And if you are going to get out, uh, give yourself plenty of time to get there and let somebody know uh, where you're going and when you're expected to be there. Now, crews tell me they will treat the higher elevation areas and primary roads first. And Governor Asa Hutchinson already preparing for the storms. He signed an executive order that would allocate $250,000 to go to possible storm relief and recovery efforts. And uh, in the case that electricity go, does go out, you want to make sure that you have an alternative heat source that are approved for indoors and make sure that you read the instructions ahead of time in case the power does go out. We're live here in Fayetteville tonight. Night. Covering news where you live, Michael Wilson, 5 News. All right, Micah, thanks. As the winter weather system moves into the area for the next couple of days, you can, of course, keep up to date with the latest where you live. Download our fr uh, free 5 News app. Still no decision tonight.